Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game Ark Survival Ascended. We are currently on the island map. It's basically season one. Now episode 15. Well, it's kind of... We, we've got so many things we need to do, like this base... I was just thinking before, this base is going to be enormous. Uh, it's not really meant to be the main base. Well, it has potential. I, I was thinking I kind of need... I need the Diplo kind of out this side. Um, I did finally get um, Roger the Dodger out of the building here. Um, I was just thinking, that's kind of funny, because it did used to happen to me a, a few years ago when I used to play Ark that the, the clipping is a bit weird sometimes. Um, you get animals stuck inside of the structures, but it, you know. I had to take a whole bunch of walls out and ceilings and that and get Roger the Dodger out the front, but anyway. Um, this episode, though, was really about... We're, we're kind of trying to head down the path of getting our um, electrical items started, but that means we need to make um, components. And I have got a feeling <coughs> we might need to make um, polymer at some point as well, but the problem is, even though I can make a fair bit of cementing paste, I can't make obsidian, I have to mine it. So we'll have to find it. So it's probably more likely to be up on a mountain somewhere, so... Luckily we've got the Argentivas, we can kind of head up and see if we can search for some. But for the time being, we're going to see if we can make a fair few electronics. Now the reason for this is... Um, let me think, so I can make almost 90 out of that assuming I have enough ingots, which I think I do. I'll go over to the forge and have a look in a sec. But under structures and under... I always got confused between these two, electric and electrical, but electrical, we kind of need to get a power generator up and running. So we probably need to continue to get more metal, um, but definitely we need to get some electronics happening. So 10 of them's only going to take us... what? 30 silica pearls anyway, but let me first go over here and see just how many um, ingots we've got. Uh, I need to keep some in the smithy for repairing things. Well, there's 10 right now. Oh, look, see, I've cooked up a little bit more of the um, gasoline. I have a feeling that's going to do one more, isn't it? Uh oh, I can't remember now. Was it 5 oil and 6 hide, or the other way around? We'll soon find out. It should just populate that to 70, if that's the case. We'll take 70 gasoline and put it in the fabricator, I guess. Is it going to do it or not? Well, while it's doing that, how many ingots have we got over here? Oh, we've got heaps. Oh, okay. Well, that's a different story. Let me take that. Did that finish? No, I think that's, that's it, I think. I bet you it's the other way around. Must be five hide and six. Yeah, I bet you it is. Anyway, we can probably turn that off now. I might take that with me. Can I just... Yep, thank you. So turn that off instead of wasting all the wood. Let's see if we can just get up here. So I did kind of... I'm trying to remember what I did and didn't show you last episode, but we've got sort of more stone happening all over the place now, which is pretty good. I kind of ended up having to build this just to support the ceiling when I was taking the ceiling down over there. When I was... Even even Roger the Dodger's tail shouldn't be poking through the building, but anyhow. Uh, let me see. So we're going to put 139 ingots in there. Um, where did I say charcoal was? Over here somewhere? No, that was construction. That was crystal. I thought I... Was it way over here in the corner? No, that's flint. Oh, there's charcoal. Okay, so we should be able to get this up and running, I would think. So it's gassed up. It's starting to make stuff. Components. Um, I reckon make 20. That way I've got 10 for the um, electrical generator, and then I'll have 10 spare. I'm just trying to remember, what, did the island map... Did it ever have tech guys? Because so far I haven't seen like a tech parasaur or anything. Because I'm just thinking, you know, when, it, when there was tech raptors and tech parasaurs and stuff, you could knock them off and then harvest the resources from them and you would often get components 
from them anyway. Um, more so the um, uh, electronics kind of thing. You would get them from those animals. So, can we actually build this thing? We can. 25 ingots. Well, at least have it made and sitting in here. That's what I reckon. Kind of try not to chew through too much oil initially in the game, but okay, so we've got our components, we've got our electrical generator. Uh, we did get some, yeah, we did get some silica pearls from some of the animals, um, but more so the, um, the tribulites. I mean, I think probably 90% of the silica pearls has come, <laughs> come from that, really. Um, was that, where did I see a green drop? Did it come and go? Oh, it might have come and gone. Or unless that's it in the distance over there. It's hard to see when it's, when it's daylight. They should make their drops a little bit more brighter. Trying to compete with the sunlight. I'm pretty certain that one's just a white one, so it's probably not that exciting. Um, okay, so. The other plan is, I, I need to start thinking seriously about a kitchen area where I can put electrical cooker in. <sighs> I've just got this sneaky feeling that we should have a veranda out here, maybe go into columns. Way out into the water, which is handy because you get things like, you know, the ability to... Where's he gone? I just saw a megalodon pop his head up. It's quite deep out here. I think that's him in there somewhere. 20. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's why Pete's alarmed. Yeah, he's just out there. But see, if we can go out far enough, just past these rocks here, we can make a an area to keep some animals, get some icky dolphins and some megalodons ourselves and tames and whatnot. But um, yeah, we can't go this way. We can't go up the up here very easily. Which is why I was thinking, oh, I should build a fence around the front part of this base too, and then give us a bit of space between animals that are kind of wandering around. About about the distance that Roger's kind of stepping out there, just go kind of where his head is facing. You need enough space for him to turn around, but just to house them in here somewhere where they don't get uh, annoyed by the other animals, that'd be a good thing. But, you know, it's how do you eat the elephant, just one mouthful at a time kind of thing, so... We're getting there gradually. But yeah, I'm seriously thinking that maybe we should have a veranda out here, because it's always good to have... What on earth is he doing down there? Is he stuck and something's hurt taking him? Or is he just stuck? Oh, there's a turtle there. Oh, he was having a... Did the turtle eat the... Oh my goodness, that's a big fish. You see that? 3.2? That would be about the same size as a dolphin, wouldn't it? Holy dearly. Um, yeah, so I'm just thinking, if we have a veranda along here, maybe we can stop off here when we've got prime meat and then just throw it straight into the cooker. Always love doing that. And then if we have metal, we can bring the metal in here. And so maybe underneath here we can put the industrial forge and then have all our metal being cooked up and then we can just transfer it straight over to the fabricator and such from here, I think. So I'm just letting you guys know that's kind of what the future plan may be, but... Uh, oh, actually, how, how much in the way of stone have I got? I'm not sure if I can do too much. Or did I get some? Oh, no, I did get some. All right, let me grab a little bit of gear here. I'm so happy that um, my weight is way up there. It'll certainly help. Uh, let's see, we're going to craft... a ceiling. I do have to look at that twice just to make sure I'm not making a, a ramp or something instead of the ceiling. That'd be a bit stupid, but... And yep, I've done that before. <laughs> Unfortunately. Alright. So, we've come all the way out to here. Uh, I'm just thinking in terms of openings. Yeah, um, arc's a bit funny that way. You can kind of hang things off structurally for quite a distance. 
What am I missing? What am I missing? Got a fair bit of stone, so it's just wood. Tax is fine for a while. Uh, wood. Stone, stone. Grab another wood. Yeah, that does make him rather heavy. We kind of need at least... At least two wide. Because if we want to stop here, eventually we'll end up putting the bird... Kind of sitting on this area out here, like a, like a little veranda. Yeah, I don't think it. I don't think it falls down on you or anything. I'm trying to remember. Not like Seven Days does. Uh, how many more of these can I create? I'm just thinking that's two by three, maybe two by four. Uh, what's he lacking? So yeah, I might make one more ceiling. Uh, it's almost like easy come, easy go, isn't it? Really. Um, and then I probably, yeah, I probably would just continue putting the walls up like we were. So if the wall goes along here, that's our little veranda. It's not very wide, but it's enough for an Argentivus to land or, or a Pterodon to land after it's attacked something. Actually, hang on a sec. Let me just do one more into weight. So that'll be 500 health, 500 weight. We'll be level 100. We've got over 3,500 points still, so... Oh, my goodness. Um, I think the biggest saver is when you get saddles out of the drops and don't have to make them all the time. I think that's a, a pretty good thing. But we do need to make a few walls. Um, that's a wall. No, it needs wood. Yeah, I need to off camera. I'd rather go and get most of the stuff off camera if I can, so you guys don't aren't bored to death watching me do that. But bring over a bit more fiber. Should be right. Um, yeah, I was just about to click number five, and then I realised, yeah, you're going to make a ceiling when you don't really need to make a ceiling. Although, you can certainly use it later on. So, <coughs> um, if he comes in, if he drops, probably doesn't really matter where the door is really, but I think... I normally like doing it so that you have a doorway and you have a cooker on one side, a cooker and a fridge, and then on the other side of the doorway a cooker and a fridge. Um, if I make my, one more here, we'll make the opening here. Does that make sense? I hope. So it's going to look like that. So we'll have a doorway here, and maybe... Maybe we add another couple of ceilings on this side, so it's like a 2x5. In the middle bit, he normally just comes... Oh, I used to put the stone railings up and all that, and he just comes and drops here, and then you just put food straight into the cooker. It's a lot quicker, a lot easier. And you can deal with a lot of, um, you know, prime meat that you might collect from an alpha kill or something, I think. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's the start. So this is going to be more our kitchen area up here, so I might end up with more fridges along this wall. I think I'll probably, if, if not wall it off, then imagine that there's a wall here. So this area that I'm walking in is more the kitchen area, and then beside it is the manufacturing area, um, where we kind of house most of the resources, and we have a veranda out here where we can do the same thing as the food, but we'll be basically just bringing in uh, maybe an in kilo. And it makes sense too, because um, the RG can kind of drop the Ankylo on the veranda and then you just let the RG just sit here. Um, and then we can just access the inventory of the um, Ankylo right there and then put it into... I think we'll probably end up... How much space have we got? Um, yeah, the base may have to extend. Hang on, let me just go up on top for a sec. Because don't you need a 3x3, three three, uh, it's a bit less than a 3x3, three three, but I think it was a 3x3 three three <coughs> footprint to be able to put an industrial forge down. I think it was. And it'll just be sitting on ceilings. I, I know that's a bit awkward, doesn't look as nice, but um, uh, we'll, we'll build a bigger, much better base at some point. 
further down the track, I guess. But yeah, I guess off camera I'll be going out and getting as much um, stone as I can and just completing this extension out here so we can hurry up and get our manufacturing upgraded. Because at the moment the smithy is way over here and that will change, I think. That was just there temporarily until we got started type thing. Alright, what have I got on me that I can get rid of? I wouldn't mind going for a bit of a run. Um, kind of excess stone and wood. Actually, I don't think I'm that heavy, really. I'm 130. Hang on, what have I got that's so heavy? I guess it's my arrows, isn't it? And I'm carrying 100 narcotics. That probably isn't the, the best thing. Yeah, this was just extra storage in here, wasn't it? Well, there's five less weight. Uh, that's only three weight. I'm just looking at everything in my inventory. Yeah, okay. Alright, not that it worries the RG too much. Let's have a look. Um, Allison's... what weight is she now? She's pretty high. Almost 900, so it's not really going to affect her too much. Alright, let me just save the game here, just in case something goes wrong. Alright, we've done our manual save. Uh, I really do need to keep going with the metal, so I'm going to have a look. I'm not sure whether anything's respawned. Do you reckon it's worth checking out the white drop on the way over? I might have to grab myself a bite to eat on the way, as you do. Yeah, I might do that. Um, assuming that it's safe down here, I might um, check out the drop, get myself a drink of water, then we'll head over to that island and just see if the metal's respawned. Uh-oh. Oh, it's just a dollar. I did notice there was raptors down here at one point, but they were kind of further up the beach, I think. Probably deal with them anyway. Exciting in here? Oh, no, not really. I'll grab the resources, I guess. And have the spears. Alright. Go straight to this island and just see. Be good if the resources were starting to respawn. So don't forget, when I first started the game, I had um, the regen of resources at the default value of 1. And it said if you, if you lower it, they, the resources come back a bit quicker. So I load up from 1 back down to 0 0.2 and I think that little island above my head uh, I took all the rocks off it and they've all come back. So I'm, I'm hoping that that's the same case with um, the metal up here. Because I did see one metal rock. Hang on, is that, uh, that's, is that a metal rock? I think it is. I'm pretty certain that's come back. Hang on, what's that? Oh, that's the baby. Uh, they're just normal rocks, I think. There was one over here somewhere that had come back. Where was that? Megalania Murrisford oh, is among the? the largest creatures found throughout the island's complicated cave networks. Reaching up to three meters long, okay, that's it can good traverse to know. vertically Fantastic. up cave walls with little difficulty. Um, I just found an explorer note. I had no idea it was there, Megalania's actually. Megalania's size means it is unlikely to sneak up on anyone. Yes, I know. Unfortunately do. for Spelunkers, it is an aggressive and dangerous creature nonetheless. Like other Varanidae, Megalania Does she have is to a talk? venomous creature. Oh, I didn't get any water. It's poison yeah, while she's talking. <laughs> But will drain the victim's mm -hmm. effective strength and health it's until okay, I'm listening. unless cured by a rare antidote. That said, the Megalania's prey are usually ripped apart well before they succumb to the poison's long-term effects. The rare ability of Megalania to effortlessly climb sheer environmental walls makes it a highly sought-after mount. Oh, that's right. You can't climb walls. By no with it. means the fastest, strongest, or toughest mount. The manner in which it can effortlessly scale mountains, clamber up barricades, hide in trees, or upside down, ensures it will always have a place in any tribe's stables. Wow, that's a long speech. Um, I thought there was metal over here. Hang on, where does the drop normally come down? I guess, don't worry about it, just, um... <coughs> 
Just go and access whatever metal I can see that's respawned, I suppose. Well, we'll do this one over here. I'm sure there's metal coming back over there somewhere. Maybe it just hasn't been given long enough to come back, maybe? Alright, make sure we got our pickaxe out. I love the fact that it actually compresses in weight when you put it back in the RG. That's awesome. Oh my goodness, it's getting a bit out of this one. It's over 200. Just have to watch I don't accidentally smack a trike or something. Uh, gee whiz, yeah, so 200, yeah, so the metal <coughs> is halved and the stone is halved when you put it into the inventory of a Naji. That's a steg doing that. Oh, it was almost done anyway. Um, is that metal just here? It kind of looks a little bit like a... Oh yeah, it is. Okay, it's kind of combined with another rock. Oh my goodness. Full drive Bronto coming. Oh, and I've accidentally hit a Bronto tail before when I've been mining. I'm sure most people have. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, you can hold so much weight in an Archie, especially when everything compresses like that. All right, well that's a fair bit of metal. Can I safely mine this stuff without accidentally hitting a tail? That's not metal here, is it? Is that metal? It just looks a bit different, like not the one on the... Oh my goodness. Are you looking at the metal too, Trike? Oh dear. Alright. Yeah, see it's very close to his tail over here, but... If he keeps walking in that direction, we'll probably be okay. Yeah, okay. Let's go for it. So we've pretty much cleared out. Oh man, he is so hot. Look at my health going down. Holy crap. Alright. Well, we'll head home and we'll eat. Something to bring our health up a bit. Oh my goodness. Look at my health. It's gone down about 20-25%, uh, 30%. <laughs> Jeez. And my fortitude's pretty high, you know, it's at 20 or something, so... Apart from building yourself a, um... an air conditioner and going into a room, I guess the only other thing is to take off some of your armour. See if you can get yourself to cool down a bit. Jump in the water. Oh, that's right, I remember now. Ark has got some funny things going on with its atmospheric stuff. Look at that. I just go from mega hot to reasonably hot to mega hot to reasonably hot. It's all over the shop. Alright, so we're going to have to dip down here because we're going to put some of the metal in here. Get rid of that. Um. I might actually put it into the stamina again. Keep that going a bit higher up. Obviously I'm a tad heavy, but I can still reach it. I had some wood in here. Oh yeah, I got a reasonable amount. It's going to take a little while to process all of that, so we'll throw that in there. What else did you have? This is just the stone, right? Oh, I could have flown up there with it, I suppose. Let's put this back. So we've got a bit more. I'll have to do a bit more grinding off camera and get a few more resources, but that's all cool. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna save it again. Give me a tick. Okay, so we have managed to get ourselves some more metal, which isn't too bad. Let's go check out some of the dinos for a sec. Gee, I feel like a ping pong ball. Oh, Deanna needs upgrading. Bring her health right up. Terry needs upgrading. Now, he's like a battle tank, isn't he? Really. Heading up towards 8,500 health. That's pretty good for him. Oh, gee, even Pete needs an upgrade. Probably more weight. He's got a 4,000 health amount on him at the moment. What is he doing with stone, by the way? How come you ended up with that? Take that, could take some of the Mijo berries out as well. 
there's another upgrade. Now, uh, I think I'm going to be putting a bit more into stamina. Uh, you know, Rodney's already at over 6,000 health for a raptor's pretty high. So if I'm going to end up with a raptor saddle, I'll put it on him. I have got a raptor saddle, Trev. I could ride him around, actually. And lead a little raptor pack, I suppose. And the other guys, I've been trying to push all this into their um, health too. Try to get them up as high as possible. Someone's tail, I think, just gave me a kick. What about peak number two? Yeah, keep going with his health, I suppose. He's 4,000 as well. At least when I take them out to knock off stuff, I've got a little bit of a, a small army. Not, not a very big army, but a small army. How about Roger the Dodger? Yeah, jeez. What levels can you go up? So, 10, 6. Let's see if we can get him up to about 11,000 health. Jeez. He's a bit noisy, eh? Alright, uh. Gotta change this whole underneath area eventually. Needs to be all changed around. But this is my main area for storage now, up, up the top here, because eventually all we're going to be doing is just flying our flyers up onto the top here, you know, out from the base, picking up obsidian or metal or whatever and just bringing it back here. Still a lot to do to this base, an awful lot, but... Oh, well, we've got to start now on our electrical stuff. We've got some components. We've got our generator. The other thing, too, was in the the days that I used to play Ark before, you'd put the generator down, but it was actually a bit noisy. So, um, hang on, I forgot to upgrade these guys. Now, hang on, this is the slightly higher pterodon, isn't it? Um, That might be the last of the weight, because 278's pretty good. It's higher than what I think, um, Paddy was initially. Maybe we just leave her. I could have done health as well. But yeah, um, I don't know. I think, I think we're doing okay. Um, but we definitely need to get this veranda thing built so that we can start looking at upgrading the way we do, um, process metal and the way that we um, have foods and get some fridges going and preserving bins and all that so hopefully that area is... I was looking at it before and thinking I hope it's going to be big enough but yeah you can do some funky things like you could almost put a little wall up here along the steps and put preserving bins along there and put some more chests over here or something I don't know there's a lot to do a lot more to build and whatnot but yeah we're getting there um, yeah, I think I like the idea of having the verandas where you can just drop in, drop stuff off. I'm trying to get us to the point where we can process things a lot faster. Because, um, we've got all the points to be able to learn things, but we haven't, um, haven't really explored that much of the map. And the one thing I'm definitely missing at the moment is obsidian. Oh, man. So where, where is it? Um, so... The direction that I'm pointing at the moment, kind of in that way, that looks like that brown part of the map is the uh, Redwood Forest. Oh man, I'd love to get... Uh, the ultimate thing is a really high-end Thylo to run around on. Oh man. Try to see if we can get a 150 of them, but they're you know, a bit hard to come by, but... Uh, that's one place we need to go, but I'm just trying to remember, I think maybe up... Probably more that direction somewhere. I think there's a mountain up there. I think there's one actually just past the Redwood Forest. I think there might be snow up there. We've got to do that yet. Yeah, got to go up and build a snow base eventually. Oh man, it's pretty exciting. There's heaps and heaps of stuff to do in Arca, I must say. But anyway, I think that's probably... I wanted to make this a very informative um, episode too, so you could kind of see where I'm heading with the base and everything, but uh, we, we can't can't run things without the electricity so um, I was going to say before because the electricity generator is so noisy I normally put a little platform further away from the main base even out on a little kind of tower that has a little bridge built to it and it can just run the electricity and we just run our cables through from there coming back to the base and then powering everything I guess 
Anyway, off camera, I'm going to go do a lot more resource hunting, especially stone. Um, and see if we can build up a bit more of this base out here. Start the veranda and start some columns being built out in the water and stuff like that. Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to have to leave the episode here. Super hope you enjoyed it today. I hope that was informative um, as to the plans of where I want to head fairly soon. And, uh, yeah, it's our starting point for the electricity, I guess, as well. As I eat, munch away on three or four pieces of meat. Alright guys, I'll leave the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it today. If you did, you can help the channel out immensely by smashing the like button for the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can mega help the channel out by subscribing. Alright everyone, thanks so much. Cheers.